guys doing? You wanna check out the new pad? Let's do it. Come on in. Ooh, for a second though, let's turn around, turn around a bit. God damn, she's pretty. Come on in. New pad, bro, just moved in a couple months ago. Still living out here in LA. Say hey to Vex. What's up, guys? What's up, Good boy. Alright. Got the pool. MTV Cribs. Welcome <laughs> to my dad. We got a six bedroom, $1.5 million pad right here. This is it, baby. Home of the gods. What are you doing? What are you doing? Not bad, bruh. Well, give you a little tour from over here. We got the dining room right here. Beautiful pool table. Goddamn kitchen. In here a lot, bro. Always gotta be eating. Number one. But yeah, it's pretty sick up here, bro. I'm living up in the hills right now in LA. It's fucking awesome. Uh, let's check it out upstairs. Got my treadmill right there. A uh, little, uh, I'll show you guys later, but Vex, my dog, actually loves that fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's running on there all the time. Well, come on up. Well, uh, I'll show you guys the guest bedroom for now. Guest bedroom, fit for a princess. So that's why chest bra is about to be staying in here. <laughs> uh, here's the um, here's the bathroom right in here. My office. I've actually uh, make all the music right here, bro. Bought a little electric piano. I actually get pretty good at that, so I'll play it sometime for you guys. But it actually works out perfect because let's say I got like a melody in my head, or right, I start playing on this, it's easy to sync it up with my DAW, my digital audio workstation, make the music in there. Uh, my fucking whiteboard right here. You know, you got some ideas. This is a must for an entrepreneur, all right? <laughs> I'm telling you, all right. Well, we head on over to my dojo. Fucking gym of the gods, bro. Oh my God. I mean, most of you guys already know, I mean, I've been working out at a home gym since I was like 12 years old. So um, it's kind of a must to have my house, you know what I mean? Gotta have it. So this thing, it's pretty sweet. Got a Smith machine, uh, my dip bar, power station, everything you need right in here. And then, uh, of course, we got gym motivation everywhere. Arnold, Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman, Frank Zane, Bruce Lee, fucking Jeff Side. <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you, man, this is like, you come in here, you start training, the euphoria, this, the motivation levels, to the max, man. You have to have it, okay? And then um, I gotta have to bring up my trophies up here. So, funny story, I actually had to fucking bring up by the truckload. All my trophies, bro. <laughs> From Washington State, I had to drive these fuckers 1,100 miles all the way down here in LA. Uh, but it's pretty sweet, man. It's good to have it. Oh, wait, wait. dude, you can't miss a fucking Goku anatomy poster. <laughs> fucking epic. Uh, so I got a couple, couple medals right here, man. Show them that shit. Bro, most of these are from my wrestling days, man. Like, when I would wrestle back in the day, every single weekend, I would be traveling, traveling around the state, around the country, always going to different wrestling tournaments, man. So I got plenty of fucking medals there. A bunch of trophies. Uh, look at these bad boys, bringing back a lot of memories. Pretty sick, man, yeah, it's cool. I, um, probably my favorite trophy, and I'd have to say, is this guy right here. My second year of wrestling. I, um, it was actually funny because my first year of wrestling, I got this guy right here. Most improved, first year of wrestling. <laughs> and then the second year of wrestling, I went on, and when I won the big ass tournament, the league championships. So going from the most improved to number one. I mean, awesome, bro. And then, uh, you know, a bunch of other trophies. Right here are my two, my first, Trophies for uh, my acting career. You're looking at an award-winning actor right here, bro. <laughs> Ten <laughs> awards, yeah? Ten awards so far, yeah. All from Commando so far. Pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Um, let's head out, show you guys the master bedroom. Had to clean up for a little bit for you guys, knew you're coming through. So you already know what's happening in here. Uh, here's the master bathroom. Not bad, getting it done, bro. And then, uh, check out the balcony. It's actually pretty sweet. Last night, bro, I was laying in my bed and I could, like, see the full moon just yeah. illuminating. That's pretty dope. 
Hey, how's the lighting look out here, bro? Oh. Gains are coming. Yeah. Out. What's up? All right, let's head out. So, uh, yeah, the master bedroom. We've got plenty of closet space, everything. A lot of light coming in. It's nice. Uh, fuck. I gotta say, man, I'm pretty damn hungry. Oh, yeah. I have to do a little cooking video next for you guys. <laughs> Head on down. Oh, don't, don't see that yet. Don't see that yet. Okay. Come on through, bro. Hold on. Oh, okay. You're getting lost back there, bro. Let's go. Punching bag, a must. A must. Uh, let's take it down to the gazebo, huh? What are you doing? I don't know if it, you guys can see, it's a little dark out here, but. This right down here is like the secret, bro. I'm telling you, like, you have a bunch of friends come over, anything, the smoke pad down here, whatever you want. Maybe doing some meditation, some yoga, some stretching, all down here. Like, growing up, I always uh, was into hiking, you know, outdoors and stuff, so it's kind of nice to be having a pad like this in LA, especially, because, like, you live in LA, a lot of people kind of live in the city, and it gets kind of depressing, bro, living with all this fucking metal and all this, like, city life going on sometimes they just got to get away so it's living point. here living here is like it doesn't really feel like you're in la i mean it's kind of hard to explain but it's just it's nice man and then when i moved in bro like for, they had this fucking terrible shitty like brick a little walkway going here it was shit so i had to like had to take grass. that out i planted a bunch of grass put in this little little uh, stone pathway right here and i actually just planted a bunch of grass like a little bit ago a couple days ago so you might see some more going that's why i got the peat moss and grass seeds and stuff uh, but yeah, dude, it's, um, I gotta say, I'm loving living here. I used to live kind of by the beach, and it was nice, you know, being able, like, here in the beach all day and stuff, here in the ocean and stuff. It was like, I mean, like a 15 second walk to the beach. So that was nice, but out here, it's just, it's better, man. I love it out here. A lot more bang for your buck, I gotta say. So, the new pad, you guys are definitely seeing a lot more videos here and everything. And, uh, oh yeah, I got a, got a little secret for you guys, so. You might have noticed my little Goku figure right here, okay? So we're gonna be switching this up a little bit for the YouTube series, okay? In certain videos, we're gonna be having an Easter egg, so I'm gonna be planting Goku, or maybe, uh, you know, I might be doing Naruto, Ichigo, someone else, we never know. But what's going on is I'm gonna be putting Goku somewhere throughout the series. What I want you guys to do, scan this out, look for Goku, the first person to comment the location, the exact location that you can find, you're gonna win a prize, all right? Prize is not gonna be released until episode three. So make sure you guys are scanning through. I mean, I'm, dude, I'm not gonna make this easy for you, okay? It's gonna be tough, all right? Look for Goku, he'll be hiding out somewhere, okay? First person to comment wins a prize, all right? You, you don't know do the prize yet, so. You gotta do the time, the time too, right? Uh, oh yeah, you gotta see the timestamp, everything, all right? The exact location, and then yeah, you win a little prize, so. You ain't gonna know the prize yet, all right? That's a secret for now, but you're good, good. It's gonna be worth it, I'm telling you. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the home tour. Pretty sick, dude. End it with a little flex, huh? There you Look at Spider-Man, doesn't even lift. Guys, check in TCL Chinese Theater. Pretty awesome theater here, man. Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, the biggest movies in the world premiered right here. And guess what? Commando 1944 is gonna be premiering here not once this month, but twice this month. First premiere here in two weeks, baby. Incredible. I remember working on this film five months ago. Already being premiering here at the Chinese Theater is like, dude, incredible. I can't even wrap my head around it. It's just, it just feels good, man. It feels good. Also, want to get a little uh, mentioned side documentary. We're gonna be start filming this January 2019. So a lot of work we putting put into this man, and it's gonna be a big feature film, an hour and 30 minutes. So pretty cool to be doing this man. It's gonna be covering my whole life story, everything up until this now moment. So pretty badass man to finally be here and uh, getting it done, bro. So I just kind of give you guys a little sneak peek before we do our full premiere in two weeks. Pretty badass man, Chinese theater. Also, uh, check it out, bro. Arnold Schwarzenegger's handprints. 
Here we go, dude. Check out that foot size. Bro. Maybe frauding on height, huh? Put the hands. You got a light on it? Yeah, I got it. It's, it's Show me, bro. It looks good. Hands in there, buddy. That's it. You know what this calls for? What? I think this calls for a flex, bro. Oh, yeah? Get that done, dude. Fuck, you know. Oh, man. What? Arnold. Cue the hard style, bro. Fuck, you yeah, the hard style, huh? track. The hand tricks, bro. The flex. Ooh. All right, and now a sneak peek of Commando 1944. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, our west coast became a potential combat zone. Living in that zone were more than 100,000 persons of Japanese ancestry. Two-thirds of them American citizens. This picture tells how the mass migration was accomplished. Corporal Lancaster. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> what do you look like to you? Like a goddamn Jap. <laughs> Corporal Hall, what about you? Like Lancaster said, an ugly Jap. In next week's episode, Jeff says, it's not gonna happen, bro. Not gonna happen, bro. Jeff makes a bet that if he wins top 10 on Fortnite, he'll make a Twitch account. I'll make Jeff a Twitch gets account. top 10, but doesn't make a Twitch account. And Jeff surfs, and unfortunately, he ends up breaking his leg.